Happy 4th of July, competitors, and welcome to this brand new Compete Everyday podcast. We're talking about freedom requires courage. My name's Jake Thompson, your Chief Encouragement Officer, and this is the Compete Everyday Podcast, a show designed to help driven people build a winning mindset so they can build their winning life. Welcome to the show. Happy Holiday Monday, competitors. Jake Thompson here, your Chief Encouragement Officer. Today, we're going to talk about Independence Day. But more than that, we're going to talk about freedom because 4th of July is one of, if not my favorite holiday, simply because as my friends and wife will laugh, I love to say I am a fireworks baby because the 5th of July is always my birthday and I laugh that I get to kick it off every year with a fireworks show the night before. But 4th of July is pretty special for those of you listening not from America It's the celebration of the Americans' independence from the British monarchy. Going back to the American Revolution, George Washington. And it's kind of that 4th of July, we shoot off fireworks, we celebrate the history of the country. Most Americans celebrate it with hot dogs, fireworks, and, and a chance to skip out of work. Where I grew up in East Texas, it was a chance to go out to the lake and you would hang out in the lake for the day and watch the fireworks show at night. But the one thing that's always stood out the most to me about the 4th of July is the celebration of freedom. And I've heard that, and and I think a lot of us have heard that. It may be easy to just gloss over what that means. But more importantly, not just freedom and, and what we here in the U.S. have the freedom to do and to say and to worship and to live and to chase our goals and dreams in a way that people in other countries can only dream of. But more than that, how the freedom and and independence we celebrate was claimed because of all the brave men and women who were honestly courageous enough to fight for it. Think about the greatest battles for freedom in our country's history. Each were led by these brave souls who would charge headfirst into the dangerous, into the unknown. They, They would be scared probably to death, knowing that Death could happen to them. But they did it because what they believed they were fighting for and charging for was far more important than how they felt in the moment. You think about the American Revolution. Think about the Civil Rights Movement. Think about D-Day and the beaches of Normandy. Like these terrifying moments where people got out of their comfort zone for something that was far more important than being comfortable, far more important than what they felt like in that moment. They, These souls that chose to fight for what they believe mattered instead of succumbing to the, the fear and the feelings we have right here and now in the immediate. And so every year that I see these fireworks, I'm reminded by the most important fact that freedom requires courage. Freedom requires courage for many of us. Freedom from a mountain of debt requires the courage to swallow one's pride and start making lifestyle changes that help us save more money and spend less, no matter what it may look like on social media or what our friends might say if we stop going out with them as much. Freedom from an unhealthy body and potentially early death requires the courage to walk into a gym. Many people for the very first time not having a clue what to do, knowing that people are going to look at them funny if they do something incorrectly. Freedom from self-limiting beliefs and maybe the way your family's always done things requires the courage to admit that it doesn't have to be this way, that there could be a better way and then to go seek help and work on yourself. Freedom requires an act of bravery to be seized. I can't help but think that anytime I go out and, and see somebody in the gym and, and they look like they're, they're new, they haven't been there before and they're struggling, I look at them with so much more admiration and respect in that moment than the people that are in incredible shape that those people may have built the habits, but at this point in time, it's super easy for them to walk into the gym and do the work. 
regardless of whether they're motivated or not, they're not probably as worried about what other people are thinking. Am I going to mess up or I'm never going to get there. Whereas the person that's never walked in for the first time is overwhelmed and intimidated and I have to give them a nod because they're adopting the same mindset that's going to take them places in every area of their life. They're choosing freedom over something else, over comfort. And it's like that with any of us. As someone who had to scratch and claw and dig his way out of a mountain of debt myself when I started my business, I remember how overwhelming it was. How I was so worried about what other people would say that it took time to get going. And eventually I just kind of had to say to hell with it. If I want to be free of this, I've got to make the right choices. And so you started changing the lifestyle up to play the long game instead of worrying about how good you looked in the short game. Claiming freedom is not an easy journey. The battle, whatever freedom you're seeking from addiction to obesity to debt to bad beliefs to a toxic relationship, whatever you're seeking freedom from, the battle can be long and difficult. But I believe you have the ability to persevere because as a competitor, you understand that the focus has to be on what's important instead of how you feel in the immediate. That in the middle of those tough workouts, when that voice inside is, ah, cheat that rep, quit early, nobody's going to know, that you still keep pushing through because you understand it's about honoring the commitment to yourself and who you could become, not necessarily succumbing to the feelings of comfort in the moment. And so as you watch fireworks, hopefully tonight, if you're listening to this on release day, I want you to see the fireworks and be encouraged about the choices you can make for your life. That understanding the first step toward freedom from whatever is holding you back is scary. But fear is a feeling just like everything else. It doesn't have to control you simply because you feel it. Just because you think something in your head doesn't mean you have to listen to it. And that your best life is waiting on the other side of fear. But it requires courage to take that first step. And so when you see those fireworks show and you celebrate the holiday weekend or the independence or maybe all the way back to the freedom to just be able to do that, I want you to be encouraged and think more than anything about the freedom that you have that's waiting for you to go seize it, that's waiting on you to change your life simply by taking the first step and start moving that way. Because being brave is not about being fearless. It's about realizing that what you want to do with yourself, what your life can become, what the people around you need is more important than how you feel in the moment. And making the decision right then and there to compete. Even if you're scared, you compete. Freedom from anything holding you back will require courage. But the good news is, you have everything it takes to be courageous. Happy 4th of July, competitor. I'm cheering for you to start your week strong. More than that, I'm cheering for you and praying for you that I hope you start your week courageously. Conquer your fears, claim your freedom and compete for your best life. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Compete Everyday Podcast. To get in touch with the team, drop us an email to podcast at competeeveryday.com. And to find out more about our resources, content, and gear that will help you build that winning mindset so you better compete for your best life, visit competeeveryday.com.